what had changed in your character in this second chapter? I think the thing that changes with Carlos the most um, is basically just his maturity level. I think he um, sort of grows up into sort of a jaded teenager mm -hmm. <laughs> in some aspects. But then also I think, um, you know, when he needs to be, he can be a very sensitive, um, uh, very thoughtful person. Mm -hmm. um, and I also think he's pretty helpful now in, you know, when we're in a, in a, in a situation too, you know. Mm -hmm. um, if we're in trouble, you know, he can sort of be counted on now as opposed to being a liability, which is, uh, which is pretty cool to, to play now, you know. And uh -huh. He's helpful, <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> And this story is based on some fairy tales uh, characters, mm -hmm. but how kids can relate with this story? I think the thing that's the most relatable about our story is just the fact that we are these teenagers who um, are really just trying to figure out who they are still. Um, in the first movie, that's what it was sort of about. Um, but that doesn't go away, you know, just because we've been accepted into Oridon doesn't mean we know how Oridon works mm -hmm. or how to behave or um, what kind of pressures come with that. Um, and I think that's what drives our whole movie is, um, you know, Mao basically says, you know, yeah, we've been accepted, but I don't know that this is the place for me. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what eventually takes us all back to the aisle. Mm -hmm. um, which is another sort of shock because we've just gotten used to Oridon, so it's like this back and forth. Um, but I think that's what's the most relatable about, uh, about it is just, um, you know, when a teenager is sort of going through, well, who am I? Am I this person? Am I that person? What do I want to be? Um, and uh, we all are still trying to figure it out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and do you remember how was your audition for this, the first movie? Yeah, I do remember. How was it? I remember... Um, Man, my audition story is actually really crazy. <laughs> um, so I got, I actually got the audition sides, and um, I didn't even go in for the audition. And seven months later, I was auditioning for something different uh -huh. in this building. Uh -huh. And um, Kenny Ortega walked into the room, and he thought I was there to read for Carlos. <laughs> really? And he was like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad you're here. And I didn't know what he was working on. So I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> and I didn't realize that I wasn't auditioning for him. So I ended up uh, not seeing him in the audition room and being like, oh, I, I guess I wasn't auditioning for him. That was so weird. Wow. And then one of uh, the casting assistants came out and was like, hey, you're, you're not here to read for us, are you? And I was like, no, I don't <laughs> think so. And she was like, just, just go home, read that, you know, go home. And I, I read it and I was like, oh my goodness, this is what I didn't go in for like seven months ago. Ah, and then I came in and I met Kenny and uh -huh. you know, right he gave place, me a little right bit time. of his resume and I was like, what, you uh -huh. worked with who? Uh -huh. um, yeah, and it was, it was uh, history from there. And how do you feel the day that you have an audition to do? Uh, you know, auditions can be a little uh, nerve wracking. Um, but I think, especially for this one, when people are rooting for you, you know what I mean? Um, Kenny had told me that he sort of pictured me in this role for a year. And that's why he was excited to see me was because, you know, I didn't come in and he was like, oh, you're finally here to audition. Uh -huh. And um, I wasn't at the time, but um, yeah, he's just, you know, that's who he, he saw in the role, I guess. And I'm just happy that I <laughs> lived up to his expectations. Uh -huh. yeah. And what kind of tip you can give for Brazilian kids or in Brazil that you'd like to be an actor? I think uh, the thing about being an actor um, is that you have to do it for the right reason. You know, you don't um, get into acting just to um, become somebody important or famous or whatever the case may be. Um, if you want to be an actor, you have to have a love for acting um, because it is a weird business and, you know, it's not a very stable profession, mm -hmm. profession, career, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, it's... Uh, one of those things that you know you could be working a long time and then have two years where you don't do anything. Um, it's just sort of luck of the draw, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, you just gotta keep at it. You know, when I first started, I didn't book anything for two years, mm -hmm. and um, now I'm you know sitting here. So, so it's, uh, sort of happens in weird ways. Do you have any inspiration for from any actor? Yeah, definitely. I you know a lot of people have <laughs> uh, done that sort of uh, Disney to like. A-list mm -hmm. jump, um, so you know some of them. Names, uh, you know, like a like a Zac Efron, <laughs> uh -huh. like a you know like a Shia LaBeouf, people like that. But um, uh -huh. I also feel like you know you can look up to 
as unique a performer as you really want, including, like, I look up to athletes. I look up to uh, singers, even though I'm not a, a recording artist. I look up to a lot of people, mm -hmm. um, just people who really are, you know, passionate about what they do, um, especially athletes, like, sometimes to an <laughs> obsession. Um, but that, 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 really, uh, that really motivates me. Yes. And go to Brazil. Yeah. <laughs>